Okay guys, I'm back, and um, this is going to be part two. I had started filming this, but then I messed up, but all I did was take it out of the mold, so I mean, not you didn't miss much. So after that, you're going to take two balls of clay, and they should be just big enough for like what you think looks good for the ears. Just kind of estimate, or estimate, whatever you want to say. Then with the two ball ears, you're going to do this, you're going to take your pastels again, and you're going to dust it same colors and then you're going to dust the balls just to give them a little bit more color and make it look like <clears throat> sorry um that they're like toasted well not toasted but like baked I guess you can say just keep doing that get some more um and if you don't you mean you don't have to dust it I just think that it adds a nicer effect but you don't have to dust anything like the cupcake or whatever like if you make a chocolate cupcake you know so yeah so after you do that you're then going to I already did this just for time's sake but you are pretty much just going to take translucent liquid Sculpey and you're going to mix it with pink pastels and a little bit of orange to get this color and for some reason on camera, it looks more orange than it is. There, that's the real color. So yeah. Then you're going to take it and just put it on the top of your cupcake. And um, I have to warn you that since this cupcake top is so like steep and stuff, it will drip a lot. <clears throat> so you will have to like, <coughs> sorry. You will have to wait a little bit and like sweep up the sides. Like here, you can see that it dripped on that cupcake. See, it's already dripping. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. And you're just going to make dips on it. Some parts can be lower than others. Whatever you want. Just kind of freehand it, no really specific way you do this. Just do whatever you like. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let me turn back around to show you guys the drippage. See that one? It's dripping and then you just have to take your toothpick pretty much and just pick it up. Because you don't want it to drip down. But I guess it's okay if it does drip down. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat hurts. Ugh. So yeah, let's keep going along. Sorry, this is taking a while. So yeah, just do that. It does take a while, I'm so sorry. This is what I do. Maybe later on I'll try to do edited videos, but you know, whatever. This is what I got for now. Okay, probably after I finish filming I'll touch it up, but yeah. So once you get it, you know, pretty decent-ish, you're then going to, now we're gonna work on the little details. You're going to, Take a red ball of clay, and you're going to make the bow with this. <coughs> so you're going to roll it out, just like so. Pretty thin-ish, I guess. So yeah, then you're going to just take the edge, and you're going to flip it around like that, like a loop, and then make another loop. Just like that. This one's not very good, but yeah. Then you're going to just take your blade and cut off to make it shorter. And then just kind of touch it up a bit. This one really sucks. Whatever, okay. 
I actually made one ahead, so that's what it really should look like. That's just my really quick version. So yeah. And then I'm going to move on to part three. And that will be the last part, most likely, I hope. So yeah. See you later.